Hello, I am Lugog TV, the self-proclaimed maker of finer RuneScape tutorials, and I'm going to attempt to explain the dungeoneering concept of prestige as simply as I can. So, let's jump right into it. I'm going to assume you are new to dungeoneering, or were referred to this video by a friend so you could familiarize yourself with the topic of dungeoneering prestige. Either way, Understanding the basics of the prestige system is vital for anyone looking to train their dungeoneering skill, as dungeoneering is based on rounds, known as floors, and upon completion of a floor, you are awarded your dungeoneering experience, and how much experience you receive is primarily based on both which floor you complete and your prestige. Alright, so first things first. You will have to open the party interface by clicking on your Ring of Kinship. At the bottom of the interface you will notice two lines of text that read Current Progress and Previous Progress. Progress and Prestige in this context are the same thing, so don't get confused yet. The numbers shown to the right of these messages are based on how many unique floors you have completed currently for Current Progress and how many you have completed before you set your floors for Previous Progress. If you don't understand what I mean by resetting floors, don't worry, that'll be covered shortly. After you complete a floor in Dungeoneering, that floor will be considered completed until you reset your progress, which can be seen by starting or joining a party and clicking the Change button, besides where it states which floor is currently selected. A completed floor will be ticked off, meaning completed, not upset, don't worry, you didn't offend anyone by completing a floor. You may have upset some of the people doing the floor with you, but the floor itself is quite understanding. Since how much experience you gain each floor is based off how high your prestige is, it makes sense that you want to complete as many floors as you have available to you to raise that number as high as you can by again completing every floor available to your Dungeoneering level. Whenever you complete a floor in Dungeoneering, that floor will be ticked and your current progress will go up by one. Simple. I hope I didn't lose you yet. Because now we're going to discuss the most complicated concept in this video. But don't let that deter you. Within Dungeoneering, as you may already know, the floors have themes to them. The themes being Frozens, Abandoned 1, Furnished, Abandoned 2, Occult, then Warped. It is a common misconception that you cannot do the same numbered floor twice without first resetting your progress. This is false. As long as you have a floor uncompleted in a theme, you can do a floor of that same theme that you have already completed before, and it will tick off a floor you haven't completed yet. Did I lose you? Did I? Here, I'll give an example by storybook. <clears throat> Two friends, Zack and Alex, wanted to dungeoneer together, so they got together and formed a dungeoneering party. They wanted to do floor 10, which is part of the Frozen theme, but Alex, silly Alex, has already completed floor 10. However, they can still do floor 10 as long as Alex has any floor from the Frozen theme uncompleted. Having this problem rectified, Zack and Alex can continue with their dungeoneering endeavors. Have fun, you two! <clears throat> so to recap, anyone can do the same floor multiple times as long as they have a floor of the same theme uncompleted. As previously discussed, you want to complete every floor available to your level. Regardless how you do it, you want every floor to be ticked off before you reset. And in case you didn't know, you unlock an additional floor on every odd-numbered Dungeoneering level. When you reset, whatever your current progress reads then becomes your previous progress. When you complete a floor, the prestige factor will be based on whichever number is higher. So for example, let's say your previous progress was 34 and your current was 18, your prestige will be registered as 34. Alternately, if your previous progress was 15 and your current was 25, your prestige will be registered as 25. Also, in case you didn't know, even if your Dungeoneering level warrants you access to a specific floor but you haven't unlocked it yet, you just have to do the deepest floor available to you to unlock the next floor. You can also skip floors at the Rewards Trader, which costs you Dungeoneering tokens, accumulated from completing floors. So to quickly recap, we've discussed the Prestige system, current and previous progress, themes, and resetting and unlocking floors. 
We've learned we should complete every floor available to our Dungeoneering level before resetting, and that after resetting, we have to tick off every floor again before resetting. Was there anything vital I forgot to include in this tutorial, or anything I overcomplicated? If so, please leave a comment, and I'll see if I can implement it into this video. Alright, that's everything from my end, and I hope you learned something you didn't know before, and can enjoy Dungeoneering as much as I do. Take care, and God bless.